But you have to control process is divided into three phases. Planning, implementation, and what? Control. Under the planning, you have various things you need to consider. What is such is that before you can prepare a project, you must first of all identify what? The objective of that what? organization. So the bar one step is what? Identify what? The objective of the organization. Now, when you identify the objective, the next thing is for you to look at what? Identify the various ways in which you can what? achieve the word objective. Which is that you identify the various strategies for achieving the word objective. After you identify the strategies, you then what? Evaluate each of those word strategies. That means you look at the pros and the word the cons. The cost and the word the benefit of each word strategy. When you have evaluated, it's not just for you examining, but for you to choose the best word strategy. So after evaluation, you choose the best word strategy. When you choose the best strategy, you don't stop there. What you then need to do is to commit your time, commit your resources to that word strategy. If the United States decides to go to work today, one of the things you want to ask where to do what, where should we pass? I think that we want to pursue, let's say, we want to go to war with Russia. They can try to pass through Ukraine and enter. They can try to pass through other areas that will and enter. Now, they are just thinking about that. They've decided where they're going to pass it to Ukraine. Now, you know that they just can say, well, we're going to pass through Ukraine and then throw their hands. What do they do? They will send their troops towards Ukraine and pass it towards Russia. Which is that you must put your resources into your world, you're choosing world strategy. That's what we call allocating of world resources to world strategy. Now, when that is done, at the end of the day, you get a feedback. Because at every time you do something, you must look at whether you are going according to your plan or not. What you say that is what is a feedback. Then the feedback will then tell you if you are not going to according to the plan, you need to work, amend your work, your way. What you are doing, you are implementing what? Control action. I so when you identify the objective, when you identify the various strategies, when you evaluate those strategies, when you choose the particular strategy, what you are doing, you are what you are planning. But when you allocate resources to that particular strategy, what you are doing, you are, what, you are implementing your work, your plan. And then when you get feedback and take control measures when they are effective, you are applying what control what control activities. Then we're going to talk about, about what are the process involved in preparing the budget itself. We say in preparing the budget, even though an organization has a long-term objective, are you mean? Budget in most states, in most uh, parts, are just a one-year work activity plan, which is that your long-term objective might not be achievable in one year. Now let me give you an example. Let me start with the first of budget process. Your objective is to become what? A certified chartered accountant. Boy. I mean? Then and then, before you come to the CCA, you must have considered that kind. I mean? You must have used that word. Anna. You might have even you might have considered SIMA to write. Which is that those are the various alternatives to achieving your word. Your dream of being a word. A chartered word. Accountant. Then when you evaluated the pros and the cons, I'm like, okay, if I do this, I can, if I do this, if I do this, what are the benefits and the cost implications? You evaluate them and then you decide to choose to do what? ACCA. Not just that you decide to do ACCA, you decide to come to what? 3 you Your coming down to 3B means that you are allocating your what? Your resources and what? Time to that particular what? Strategy. Because you have to pay for money, you have to pay for your time and everything. Now, at the end of the day, you write the exam. Are you? And when you write the exam, it will give you a word, you pass or you word, you fail. That pass or fail is what? It's the feedback. Now, if you pass, what do you do? You move towards the word, the next word. Yeah. If you pass the other word, what do you do? You look at where you are failing, and then you try to word, correct what you just did. That's the correct control process. Now, everything, the, your objective is to become a satisfaction that you can turn, but you can't become it at once. You have to take it by stage by word, stage. Which means that if I were to be you, my budget for this period, my focus for this period, will be the papers that I'm writing, which is what? F2. 
So all your activities will be geared towards what? F2. You won't pay for F9 now, will you? No. You will pay for, let's just for F9. Let's have a for that for F9. You can buy textbooks and practice for what? For F9. Everything you buy is towards what? Now, which is that at this point in time, your budget is for this word period, and therefore the objective of what everything you are doing now is to pass it. Which is, though there is a long term objective to become a better like accountant, every budget has a, a short term word objective that is what it covers. I you now. Now, so if you want to apply the budget, the first thing you must identify is what is the objective of this word budget. What do I want to achieve with this word budget? When you understand what you want to achieve with this budget, the question you ask yourself then is, what are those things that will stop you from achieving this word objective? Now, no matter what that will stop you from achieving the objective is late coming. So you better stop coming to work to class with what? Late. Did I, did I call you? What are you doing? Have I been here? Don't call me to work. Yes. Have you? So, it could be a limiting factor. Not attending classes properly could be what? A limiting factor. Not having money to buy materials could be what? A limiting what? Factor. So, what we should try, try to do is find a way to go overcome those words. Limiting word factor. If you have to borrow your friend's material for one week and return, is a is a strategy. People are going. If the fact that you have to go and look for Goku materials up and down, is a strategy. In fact, I don't think we can buy it, but I don't think any of them. Let me go. Let me have the to you in myself. I don't think any of us can buy it. It's the truth. So it sells for about 10,000, 12,000 grand. So what are the ones we rely on? We rely on our own materials as a check. Where you can buy 3,000 and then you get a server. So, get so all those are limited factors which you must try to overcome. But like I said there is one thing that you can never overcome or that you can ever have in your budget. It is what? Sales. If you are the person to produce a product, and if this diary is a product of yours, and all I need is one person per diary, and the budget this year is to sell to the Nigerian market, then what would be your projected sales? Can you project the sales of 2 million copies, 200 million copies? Why not? Eh? Okay. But you can sell you can sell one fifty million for us. But you have to sell two hundred million for us. Why can't you sell it? Because uh, the the population is only Nigeria can sell. You said our project is focused on the Nigerian market. Ah, uh, they can sell. So you can't sell more than what the market that you are what you are only can sell. So that a company cannot go beyond the world. It's sales. So we said sales is what the principal budget was. Factor. That is that under the budgeting process, I'm going to restate it now. Budgeting process. The number one thing you want to work is what? Identify the objective. Identify the limiting factors. Then what do you do? You prepare what? Serious budget. Sales budget is the first budget you're going to prepare. Then the second, the number one. Sorry. Sales budget is the first budget you prepare. Yes. If there's no limiting factor. Right? Where is that? Now, if there's no limiting factor for resources, what are they? In fact, the only thing that bothers you really is which is the first thing that you can be every product. But if you don't know what you want to sell, you can't know what you want to produce. So, whether there is a limited factor in terms of uh, 
resources, however, it is your skills that will, that will determine your, your, your production. So the first thing to prepare in the world is your sales budget. After your sales budget, you prepare what? Prepare finished goods, inventory goods, budget. All you mean by goods, inventory budget? That is, your budget opening inventory and your budget what? Building what? Inventory. Then after that, you prepare what? Your production what? Budget. Now, your production budget is the amount of quantity that you want to work, produce. How do you know the quantity you want to produce? It is simple mathematics. Now, I have 2,000 uh, two units of your products. I have 2,000 units of your units of your products. That's my complete inventory. My project sales is 50,000 units. And I want to have a good inventory of 3,000 units. How many units do I produce? And my MS is actually new. I have 2,000 units of a product. 2,000. I anticipate to sell 5,000 units. And then I still want to have 3,000 units at the end of the day. As my closing inventory for next year. How many units will I produce or will I purchase? Hmm? That will be 6,000. I'm selling 50,000 units, not 5,000 units. Okay, 6,000. Yeah. Okay. I want to have 3,000 units. I already have 2,000 units available. Mm -hmm. I want to sell 50,000 units. Mm -hmm. And then I want to have 3,000 units remaining at the end of the period. Mm -hmm. Now the answer is 21,000. How is that? I already have 2,000, right? So if I'm going to sell 50,000, how many do I need to purchase more? 14,000. To make the 50,000 I want to sell. Then I still want to have Anchina 3,000 remaining. Which means that I will still to purchase that Anchina 3,000. So the total amount of how many units I for purchasing? 51,000 units. Before this, I want to purchase 52,000 and the extra one, 3,000. Which is that to get the production budget, the our sales plus what? Closing inventory, my record, opening what? Inventory. The difference between the closing and opening inventory is called what? Changing inventory what? Level. Yes, sir. Is that finished? Is it the same thing as your production as you want to produce? No. The finished with inventory budget is a budget that determines what the amount of the quantity of opening inventory you want to have and the quantity of what closing inventory you want to have. Most of the actions have a policy regarding closing inventory. Some will tell you that the one they are closing inventory to be 50% of next month's sales. In their policy. So, whatever budget they have for next month, 50% of it will be what? Closing the budget for what? For this month. Are you? So, your free good inventory budget is just the budget to determine what? The opening invention and the what? The closing word invention. Now, based on the quantity you are going to produce, you know that in every, in every product, there are three elements of what? Which is what? Material, material, labor, and what? Overhead again. Based on the production budget now, you know the quantity you want to produce. The next question then ask yourself is how many materials am I going to use? How many labor am I going to use? How much is my work overhead? Now, under the material budget, you first of all need to determine the quantity of what material to work to use. So material budget. We have material what? usage what? budget. That means if I want to produce 51,000 at each unit, use this 3 kg of material, how many things am I going to use? 51,000 what? 3 kg. That's what? 1 3,000 what? kg. That's material usage. 
Then, once I determine the quantity I need to use, the next question is that I ask is, how many do I need to purchase? Do I have some already? Because if I'm going to use 150,000 kg, do I ask, do I have some material already? If I have that, will reduce the amount I'm going to work, purchase. If I don't have them, I'm going to work, purchase everything. So I need to determine my work. Material, inventory, work, budget. So after the material inventory budget, the next thing was material for change what budget. That is material usage plus closing inventory of material minus what opening what inventory of what material. Then you go to the book. Labor budget. We have labor usage, or labor hour, and then labor what? Cost. Then so you have your overhead. You have a overhead. You have a production overhead. Then you have the same as distribution with the Okay, so you have the same as the distribution with overhead. So when you have all these overheads, the next thing that you consolidate them and then you prepare what? Cash budget. So prepare for the discretionary what? budget. What is a discretionary budget? A discretionary budget is a budget for what? Capital expenditure and research and what? Development. Reason be the fact that capital expenditure is not part of the normal what? Expenses. You do it what? Once in a while. Once in a while. So that's that. After that, you consolidate and then you pay what? The cash budget. When you pay the cash budget, you pass it up for what? You spread it for what? Approval. And after that, you pay what? Your master budget. The master budget consists of three budgets, which are what? The budgeted income statement, the budgeted status of financial position, and the budgeted what? Cash flow. Okay? From that point, then you then do a periodic work review. We've done all these things before, so you can just do the video. I'm just doing an overview for you. Now, after that, we went on to talk about forecasting and budgeting. We started by saying, how do we derive the three words to use the word in budgeting? Okay? And what are the, we said there are various techniques we can use to work, to forecast what figures to be used the word in budgeting. We started with I and no words. Method. Techniques of methods of forecasting. Methods for forecasting. So start with I and new method. Linear iteration. Correlation, increase, um, index. And last time we talked about stress. Okay, we've we'll talked about this, 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 right? Correlation, okay. What up, Madame Yuri is not here. Anybody calling that?
Now, the I and low method can also be called the range method. Sir, is it by that same in square root? Yeah. What do you say this to? Economics. Wow. Then you do, I'm sure you will do it, to show that statistics and this kind of thing. I see we have too many economics in, in this class. I can't I can't You, you, you. I You, you, you. I you. I I you. 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 The I and the method for simple for understanding is just an extension of what we call gradient and intercept. Remember that that particular thing. When you say the gradient of the line is of the line is what m right? P equals to what y two minus what y one over what x two minus what x one. Y intercept is the point where the what the line crosses the what the y axis. That means at the point where x is what? Is zero. You also remember that under economics, cost function is equal to y equals to what? a plus what? bx. Where a is the what? The fixed cost. b is the what? Variable cost by what? By unit. x is the what? Quantity. And y is the what? Total what? Cost. Now, you remember that where we say intercept of the line, that means at the point where the line cuts the word, the y axis. That means at that point, x is what? Zero. If that is the case, it means that at that point, even if we don't produce anything, why would still be what? That add value. Which means, when x is equal to zero, y is equal to something. That means intercept is equal to what? Fixed cost, which is equal to what? A. Now, to now look for B, which is what? The gradient. Gradient is the measurement of changing X to what? Change the word in Y. Now, here, to be that we then look at point X on the X axis and find the corresponding word, point Y. Look for point X, you can find the corresponding word, point Y. To look for X and Y under I and new method, we use what we call the activity word. Levels. The quantity or the basis is the word activity word level. The cost is the word the cost. So X1, I mean, then represents lowest activity word level. That means the point where you have the lowest word activity word level. X2 then represents highest activity word level. So it is that. Y1 would then be the cost corresponding to the word lowest activity word level. Why Y2 the word? The cost corresponding to the word highest activity word level. Therefore, we say B, which is the variable cost, which is the gradient, is equal to highest activity level cost minus lowest activity level cost divided by highest activity level minus what? Lowest activity word level. Cost. And then, if we 
if you use the same function and substitute b into this particular equation, we will get what our a. Now let me give you an example. Let's assume in year 1, 2, 3, and 4, quantity produced is 5,000, 6,000, 4,000, and then 7,000. And the cost, the cost is $7,000, yet the cost happens to be $7,500, the cost happens to be $6,500, and the cost here happens to be $8,000. Hmm? They now ask you that in year 5, I tell you, we assume that we are going to produce 10,000 units. What should we do about the cost? To use the I and U method, first of all, you pick the X1 point, which is the, word, the point with the, word, the lowest activity word, level. Where is the lowest activity level? That needs to be what? Y what? What? Are you there? The point with the answer is actually the word here, right? Mm -hmm. Which is what? X what? 2. I that is 11. That needs to be what? The corresponding what? Cost. So based on this, we can then say B, which will be cost to what? 8,000 minus what? 6,500 divided by what? 7,000 minus what? 4,000. Therefore, this will be what? 1,500 divided by what? 3,000. This will be cost to what? 0 0.5 dollars. That means the variable cost by this is what? 0 0.5 what? dollars. We can then substitute this into either the highest activity level or the lowest what? activity level. If y is equal to a plus what? bs, it means that 6,500 using the lowest activity level equals to what? a plus. 0 0.5 into what? 4,000. Give it Therefore, 6,500 will be equal to A plus what? 2,000. Therefore, A will be equal to what? 6,500 minus what? 2,000. A is equal to what? 4,500. If you check out with the ICAT team, then we should get the same word A. If you use that, that would be what? 8,000. Equals to what? A plus what? 0 0.5 into what? 7,000. 8,000 equals to what? A plus what? 35. A will be equals to what? 8,000 minus what? 35. A is equals to what? 4,500. So it means that our function is there what? Y is equals to what? 4,500 plus what? 0 0.5 what? X. So if you now want to ask, how many do you want to produce in the fifth year? 10,000. That means y will be equal to what? 4,500 dollars. 0 0.5 into what? 10,000. Y will be equal to what? 4,500 plus what? 5,000. So y will be equal to what? 9,500. So we say we can say that the cost for it to be worth 9500 Do you understand? That's how you can make the word your I and you better to work for cast. Now another way to you can another way you can forecast is true of what? Linear word regression method. Now the reason why I and method is called I and method or what we call the range method in life. It only uses two activity words, levels, the highest and the word, the worst. It doesn't concern itself with whatever that thing. In some cases, the same relationship might not exist equally all around. Are you mean? Which is that if you apply the same method to in between the data, you might not get the same word value. Comes against that. We now have what the linear word, regression word analysis or method. Under the linear regression method, T 
still using the function y is equal to what? a plus what? bx. Huh? We say b will be equal to n summation xy and your summation x summation y divided by what? n summation x squared minus summation x squared y a will be equal to summation y over what? n minus b is what? summation x over what? n don't worry, the formula will be given to us in the exam of this one so for the people that are afraid of cramming the formula What? Are you happy? Now, it means that for us to actually work with this value, this is our word x and our word y. We need an x y and we need the word x word squared. For the purpose of simplicity, huh? Let's remove this thing in thousands. In thousands. So remove this, 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 seven, seven point one five, six point one five, and then what? Eight. So x y was this times was this, which is the average thirty five. This times should be how much? That's like uh, 45. This time this will give us how much? 26. And this time this will give us how much? 56. X squared will be what? 25, 36, 16, and what? 49. So sum them. Let's sum them. What is that? Little? Where is the Where is it? Where is the lapel? Let's see. We have missing 14 or 49. Huh? 49. Oh, 14. Where? Which one? Bye bye. 
you use Corelli dot shared question, I need an extra y square, right? y square here would be what? 49, 64, 100.
the what? It helps. Are you me? There's a 0.7 percent what? Change in what? In y. And that will continue to what? To be. If it's a partial correlation, for every 20 percent change in x, if on the first instance you go 0.7, are you me? On the second instance you will go to the what? Twice what? Lesser. On the third instance you go to the what? Twice. That is not the same rate of what? Change. Are you me? That's the way it works. It works. But the ideal thing, just for correlation purposes, is just the fact that you know, the degree of what relationship that exists between the world, the variables, that's the real thing. So that, okay, if this should increase, if the correlation position is 0 0.9, it means that the world is a positive world correlation. Correlation coefficient is between what? Minus 1 and what? 1. It can, be, it can be less than minus 1 and cannot be greater than what? 1. Between 0 and what? 1 is a, what? Is a positive what? Correlation. The more it tends towards 1, the more stronger it, was, it is. Between 0 and minus 1 is a, what? Is a negative what? Correlation. The more it tends towards what? The negative minus 0 from what? The more what? Stronger negative what? it is. Do you make sense? Now, Let's go. To, I'm going to jump time series because time series is really big number. So let's understand the basic point before we go to a time series. Now, talking about index. Index. Index is the value of 
value or the ratio of what one particular variable and the next one and that one variable. The next one, the ratio of one variable and the next one and that one variable. One of the primary things when you're talking about index is that the variable One question I think about index is that index usually gives you what? Yearly what? Variables. And one of the yearly variables is that when you are comparing one variable to another, they must go what? In a base year. What do you mean by a base year? A base year is a year that you are used to the comparing to. And what part size of a base year is that a base year must be what? A normal what? Year. I said, index are usually what? A yearly what? Um, a yearly what? Relative what? Calculation. That means it's not just one, re it's not just the fact that you are rating one particular variable to another. Usually what? A yearly what? Variable. And I said that one that you have to look at for when you are looking at variable that the most of what? A base year. That is the year you are what? Comparing what? Two. And to get a base year, a base year would be a normal year, which is that there are abnormal words, years. And what do you call a normal year? A normal year is a year that is devoid of what? Inflation. So, where, which year is devoid of inflation? Which year is there is no year. The only difference is that when you're talking about a base year, the prices are more stable than previous words, years. Before now, as a country, we use the 1989 as well as our word base year. If you remember at the beginning of this, at the beginning of uh, the end of this year, before the Shibo girls, they were told that Nigeria is recapitalizing the world, the GDP. And what they were saying that probably we are even a better economy than our South Africa. In books. So <laughs> and, uh, the thing is, when we are comparing our current price standards, are you mean, and our current what, GDP, we are comparing them to the prices and GDP as I was 1989. In which, in those period, we would say things are what better. <coughs> but now, we are regarded our GDP to what? So, 20 what? 20 10. Which is that we are using 2010 as a base day for what? For buying our work, for covering our work, our activities. Now, in calculation of index, most of the time you are measuring changes in either one variable or you are measuring what? Changes in more than one word variable. And two variables usually measure because I, uh, index due to what? Economy. Is either what price or what quantity? Like that, you know, changes the word in price or changes the word quantity. Now, when you are measuring changes in price only or changes in what in quantity only, what we call that the word is a simple index. So type of index that word simple word index. But a simple index would have a price index. And that's simple index. Price index would be equal to Pn over what? PO times what? 100. Pn is what? Current year what? Price. PO means what? Base year what? Price. Anywhere you see N means what? Current word, year. Anywhere you see O means what? Base, year. If I look for quantity index, under the simple index, quantity index will be equal to QN over what? QO times what? 100. It will make sense. Now, we have what? Weighted what? Index. What is weighted 
debt index. Because price and quantity are what? Are related. Price and what? Quantity are what? Related. If you remember the law of demand and what supply, it says that under the market world, the higher the world, the quantity demanded. Variable as weight, 
It is what? The current year what? Wait. So we are looking at price index. Price index is what? P N to our what? P U, right? Under Pache, you use what? The current year what? Wait. That was quantity. That is what? Q N. Q N. If you are looking for what? What did you was? Index. You use what? Q N to our what? Q O. The weight is what? Price. What will it be? The current year what? Price. Multiply and then find the word the square 